Ordero's purchase order feature allows you to set up defaults for certain suppliers so that it's easy to reorder products on the fly. When setting up products for purchase orders, you can set the minimum order quantity, the supplier SKU, and the supplier cost. And after all that's set up, it's as simple as selecting products and clicking order more to create a purchase order. So this tutorial is just going to demonstrate how to set up your products for this easy reordering. So to get started, we're going to go to the product section. I already have some suppliers created in my account, so um, if you don't have that set up, you'll definitely want to do that first. Um, you can also do that from this page um, if you want to add a new supplier, but whatever works for you. Um, and then once all those suppliers are set up, you can kind of go ahead and start setting up your products for reordering. So for example, if I click on this product, I go to the product detail page. I have this supplier assigned. This SKU is the same as mine. It doesn't have a PO unit cost and it doesn't have a minimum order quantity. Um, so, but what I can do is set the PO unit cost. So maybe this is 250. And there is a minimum order quantity. So whether this is your supplier's requirement or your requirement, maybe it only makes sense for you to buy it in at least a pack of 10 because of the cost, or they have discounts once you order 10 or more, or they require that you order a minimum of a certain quantity. Lots of different reasons, but um, go ahead and set it there. It could just be whatever you like to reorder stuff in the quantity of. Um, and then the supplier SKU, so if their SKU is different from yours, you can set the supplier SKU so that their SKU shows up on the purchase order. Makes it easier for them so that they know what they're picking instead of having to figure out what your SKU relates to. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to do that. You can also assign other suppliers um, and modify their information. Um, that way, maybe if you need to switch between them occasionally or, or something like that, you can. But whatever you have set here, uh, whoever's the default is the one that's going to pop up first when you're creating a purchase order. So once I've done that, um, it's pretty simple. I go back to my products page. You will see this is assigned to the supplier. So I can just select this product, click order more, um, and it already has those defaults that I've set up there. Um, the only other thing is I can set which warehouse I want it to send to and then go ahead and create that PO. It's pretty simple. Um, so you can also do that in bulk with our data import. Uh, there's this create update supplier SKUs. Um, this has the SKU, the cost, and the um, minimum order quantity here so you can set that up. Um, other than that, that's so all you got to do. If you have any questions, just let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.